Okay, here we have the vent mode, and when we change or press this vent mode, watch what happens down here. We have CPAP, CMV, SIMV, assist control, and pressure support. Okay, here you can see a little bit better the CPAP, CMV, SIMV, assist control, and pressure support. Now to access any one of these to make the change, you simply press the button underneath each of those items and it'll change then to the mode. Okay, And we have not pressed confirm so it still is in assist control. So here we go pressing SIMV, changes to SIMV, but it's still in the assist control mode until we press confirm. Can go back and we're we have not changed the assist control. Ventilators do have this ventilator has additional options. Right here, if we press ventilator options, the uh, the whole process, the whole information here now changes, and we can see that we have VIV. E and VG volume guarantee and we can change that using these plus or minus buttons. Now we can look at the graphics in the main mode. Okay, we're here in the vent mode and we want to go back to the main operation mode. Press this return button here and it gives us the graph measured list trend and this the up and down is for your alarm limit so let's take a look by pressing this button here which is graphics we can change our graphics from PAW okay pressure in the airway to flow to see the flow or if we wanted we could freeze the image and that'll keep the most current waveform that you're watching. Unfreeze it by pressing it again and it returns. Notice here we have minute ventilation 0.66 liters per minute and then we have the FiO2, which is not being measured because we don't have the FiO2, the oxygen analyzer sensor, in. And then we have your mean airway pressure here. Okay, let's go back and to, we looked at graphics. Now we can look at the measured by pressing the MES button. In the measured, we can get the volume, pressing this will give us our volume measurements, minute volume, spontaneous volumes, leak, and tidal volume. Press it here, we get our pressure, uh, airway pressures, PAW, PIP, um, and PEEP, etc. And then we have our uh, compliance and resistance and those factors. Now, if we press if we press list we can get a nice listing of all the in story in information on the ventilator uh, the uh, in story time ex story time the set frequency uh, the O2 concentration the I to E ratio so you don't really need to have to try and calculate this out you have your in story tidal volume your ex story tidal volume your peak in story pressure peep and your trigger sensitivity. Okay, that's the information in the set one and you can also readjust and have another set of data in set two which this doesn't have. We can have the measured information and we can have another set of information in the measured two. Okay, so here in the measured this is actually what the machine is measuring using the sensor, PIP, 
uh, PEEP, FIO2, frequency total. That would include anything that the patient's breathing, uh, minute volume, tidal volume, leaks, and spontaneous. Trend here will give you information over a period of time. And this is the, uh, the peak pressure and what was happening to the infant over this period of time uh, starting at here um, 10.45 to 12.45. This is a two hour time frame right here. We can change that time frame by adjusting this. We can change the parameters that we're looking at. Mean airway, minute volume, FiO2, compliance, resistance, and that information there. Okay. Now, here we have the up and down arrows. Press that and we see our alarm conditions. We have minute volume, high, low, and to uh, adjust what it's measuring, we press this button and it'll move the highlighted box every time you press it. And from that, you then, if you wanted to increase the minute volume, you have to go plus or minus. So if I wanted to increase the minute volume to one liter, I would press the minute volume till it raised to one liter. And if I wanted to move on, change the alarm delay, same thing. High, increase it or decrease it. Okay. And over here, this little box with an exclamation point is your information regarding any alarm conditions that have occurred. We can go through this and look at all of the alarms that have occurred.